Hi, so today I will discuss about uh, what is TensorFlow uh, in general and uh, what you can do with this TensorFlow. What exactly is this TensorFlow? So first of all, uh, TensorFlow is being created by Google and it is the uh, Google's latest machine learning system. But uh, Google has open sourced it for everyone. So anyone can use it and tensorflow you can use it in python so uh, google has launched its api uh, through which you can use it in python java and other languages as well so what is tensorflow so tensorflow is a programming system in which you represent computations as graphs so say you need to multiply any two matrices you can do it in r or python but tensorflow uses a graph it is a different kind of computational system in 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 you in which you feed the uh, in which you feed the data and the data flows through the system and do the computations all along so the basics of this tensorflow is starts by tensors so tensors are basically elements of tensorflow and you must be knowing what is a scalar a scalar is uh, just some constant values then we talk about vectors so that is like one dimensional array then we have matrices that is two dimensional array so tensor can be considered as multi-dimensional array so this is the basic uh, data object you can consider you can say that it is the basic data type which is being used in tensor flow why it is called flow because tensor is a data which flows through the graph and what is graph graph is actually a computational uh, graph where the data flows through all the graph so that all the computation is being completed so purpose is whatever uh, purpose could be anything you basic purpose could be just doing addition or subtraction or it could be very advanced uh, computation maybe say you try to minimize uh, some error function like root mean square error or something or you may may be trying to minimize the cost function for any algorithm it could be anything but say some simple operation is there say addition or subtraction you can you can do that in tensorflow because tensorflow is basically a kind of system in which you feed in the data and data flows through the whole graph and the graph is not a uh, uh, graph depends on the types of operation which you are trying to do and the data uh, you are having in hand so this is just the basics of tensorflow so now uh, it takes lesser time to construct artificial neural networks what does it mean so tensorflow is basically uh, was used and is currently used for uh, creating large and large deep neural networks by deep neural networks I mean to say that the neural networks which have many hidden layers and these deep uh, neural networks are being used for uh, for the purpose of face recognition and voice recognition where you have you have to create large number of features you have to do feature engineering so that you can you can extract uh, the important features in the uh, like face so that is not possible manually so deep learning is uh, being used for that purpose but usually de uh, deep learning is uh, very slow because of the so many of the parameters which you have to train so tensorflow was created by google to satisfy this uh, purpose that uh, so that you can train the deep learning uh, models in in lesser time so for that purpose uh, it was created and it is actually made for gpu so you can run the tensorflow in your cpu in your laptop but it will be slower but it is actually made for uh, gpu and you can do the parallel processing in that so it is also a deep learning framework as i already told you but it is not mere only a deep learning framework you can do simple operations as well as i said you can do the linear regression you can do logistic regression you can do k-means clustering or anything you can do so also a uh, tensorflow has some dynamic visualization uh, toolkit which is uh, known as tensor board where you can do the visualization and you can say that tensorflow is basically mostly used by those researchers who are into the deep learning 
which are uh, which are doing the uh, problems for like uh, natural language processing and uh, like face recognition and voice recognition or chatbots or ai different kind of ai problems like robotics and in the, all that so in that purpose deep learning is being used and the one of the framework is tensorflow but currently it is the best framework which is being used and uh, it is uh, when it is being used in production it it requires gpu for research purpose or just learning purpose you can wor work in your laptop but it will be it will be very slow than usual models which you train in machine learning so you can use the tensorflow in windows linux mac and android so let's discuss about next so what is a uh, data flow so data flow is actually a programming model for parallel computing so data flow consists of two things one is node and one is edges so say when you want to add uh, so you you have two numbers so those two numbers will be called as edges that is the data and uh, the operation is addition that will be called as node so numbers two numbers will be data and that data is known as edges and the operation which is you are doing performing that will be node so there are two things nodes and edges so data flows through this complete graph when you have lot of operations so you the data flows through the complete graph and that's why it is called as data flow because we are using here tensors that's why it is known as tensor flow so say you have two matrices and you want to multiply so here the two matrices will be uh, uh two matrices will be edges and the operation is being used as matrix multiplication that will be the node so let's see this is a simple tensorflow graph so the two matrices these are the edges and the matrix multiplication that will be the node and the output will again be an edge let's see the other model say you want to uh, you want to do something like uh, you have some matrix and you have uh, some weight vector uh, like in reg uh, simple regression model w x plus b and then after w x plus b you want to perform some kind of uh, function say sigmoid function or any kind of function say relu function so what you do is a uh, matmul is doing the matrix multiplication you have two matrices w and x you multiply that so w and x will be edges matmul will be node so matmul will output another data that data will be the product of w and x so that product will be now an edge and this data is flowing so w flow through the matmul x flow through the matmul and it outputs another product which is wx then through the add node wx flows and b flows and they gets addition they get added up so add is another node so add node will be outputting the value w x plus b and then after that relu will output the activation say you are uh, so doing exponential say some something like you are doing logarithmic so that will output log of w x plus b but here is some other function that is relu function so it will be outputting relu of w x plus b so this is a tensor flow where the tensors flow so w is again here is a tensor when you when you do the uh, programming in tensor flow uh, everything is converted if you are using python uh, that will be uh, uh, numpy arrays will be converted into tensors and uh, all those uh, tensors are then uh, flown uh, through this data so this is all about so one more thing is that when the uh, you compute anything there is tensorflow is a graph uh, where it is a description of computations and uh, a graph must be launched in a tense session that means when the when you are doing the computations uh, that uh, there will be data flow graph and that data flow graph will be uh, will be launched during the session so session is one word and there is data flow graph and the nodes and edges and tensors so these are the basic uh, 
uh, the basic things which you need to know if you want to understand what is TensorFlow. If you want to understand uh, how you would uh, do this TensorFlow in Python, I will be creating more videos on that. Please uh, do not forget to like and subscribe this video if you like. So thanks for watching this video.